Hello diecast fans and welcome to another episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars featuring a head-to-head -head that I had not in my wildest dreams thought I would ever be filming until yesterday when in a sheer stroke of luck I managed to get my hands on this brilliant Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 by Hot Wheels uh, Premium. You see this car like i said in the unboxing video just last episode was something i had not at all expected to find i mean i'd seen it online but i pretty much you know i i pretty much resigned myself to never being in time to find it in a specialty store let alone in a in an ordinary retailer like a toy store as luck would have it though i happened to find it a little bit off the beaten path and boy was I glad to find it because that meant that I finally finally had another uh, Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 to go along with this one this is a GTO twin turbo which is basically what the 3000 GT VR4 is called in its native Japan that's right folks Years before Hot Wheels made their version, years before Para 64 made their version, and more on that in another episode, because I don't actually have a Para 64 model right now. Tomica Premium came up with this brilliant piece. And it's kind of funny that in the last few unboxings I've made, I have said that uh, Tomica Premium simply don't make cars that to me at least merit a perfect 10. It's funny I mentioned that because when I dug this out of storage to compare it to this baby, well, I realized that I started my unboxing program maybe five years too late. But I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. So let's do the head-to-head -head proper, shall we? So as you all know, if you watched the last episode, I am totally enamored with this Hot Wheels. You know, I'm enamored with the fact that it has rubber tires, you know the, this brilliant detailing you know the 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 nice heavy metal chassis and all of that but as taken as I am with this car now that I'm confronted with this Tomica I can't help but notice and this may sound controversial to some of you but I can't help but notice how much better the Tomica is in terms of fine detailing. I mean, look at it in terms of stance, in terms of interiors. Let's get a close up here. Interiors. The Tomica has two tone seats for gosh sakes versus these plain black ones on the Hot Wheels. The Mag Wheels. Okay, the Hot Wheels gets brownie points for its rubber tires. But rather than just slap on some stock wheels from their parts bin, Tomica reproduced the actual mag wheels of the, of the GTO. So the replication here on the part of Tomica is stunning. And that's even without the side mirrors. I mean, let's face it. As much as I like side mirrors on any Hot Wheels, the fact that the Tomica, the, the Tomica Premium mix up with this level of detail. And, and look at the, again, look look at the two cars head to head. Look at the sloping, look at the sloping stance of the nose. Look at how, look at how it basically tapers so perfectly like that. I mean, the, the Hot Wheels nose looks, looks like a blunt instrument in comparison to the sharp as a knife nose of the Tomica Premium. Okay, and I say this as somebody who gave this Hot Wheels a 10. I do not regret my 10. Let me just make this clear. I mean, by itself, the Hot Wheels is still a beautiful piece. But the fact remains, the fact remains that this Tomica, which by the way, is a five going on six year old model. The fact remains that this Tomica is even more beautiful. And if I had unbox this back then this would have gotten a 10 in fact i mean given that i'm comparing it to a 10 i would think that kind of tells you how i would score this car 
so yeah the hot wheels it's still a beaut still got its you know it's still got this wonderful stance rubber tires nice metal chassis but when compared to this Tomica, this much older model, I mean, it actually gets put in the shade. The only reason that I can't grade this Tomica any higher than this Hot Wheels is simply that the Hot Wheels gets a 10. And I can't, you know, in good conscience, give the Tomica an 11. But the Tomica, okay, the Tomica Premium definitely, definitely wins this head-to-head. -head. And that's it for this head-to-head. -head. Like I said, I'll be winding down. This was actually supposed to be my last episode, but I think I still have one more in me before I go on hiatus. Anyway, for those of you who are new to the program, give me a like and a subscribe. You won't regret it. And for those of you who've stuck it out for a while, well, I still have another episode to give before I go on break. All right? So in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye.